This video will demonstrate the principles of using M-Drummer to effectively and efficiently create a drum track to a song. It is important to watch our MIDI command method tutorial prior to this video, so you understand the principles of some of the methods used here. I'll start by briefly acquainting you with the track I'll be using. Get back, you feel me? Yeah, get back y'all, out my face! I'm gonna spread your brains all over the place! I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene Hit your dog with a roll-up magazine Get back! You know I pity the fool I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell And I'm gonna vex you Gonna put you under my spell if you can To start, I'll create a new MIDI track and open the mixer Here I can select M-Drummer 1 out from the VSTI plugins menu. Get back, feel me? Hip hop is a good preset for this track. I'll also choose an adequate rhythm. I'm gonna spread your brains all over the place. I'm gonna kick through that door and make a scene. Hit your dog with a roll-up magazine. Get back. You know I pity the fool I wanna have to send you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell I'm also going to insert an instance of M multiband limiter from the VST menu to make the drum track hotter from the offset Next I will select a new empty MIDI object and stretch it the length of the track. In the MIDI editor I'll draw a note on C-2 for the intro, followed by 7 bars of groove and a 1 bar break. I'll now simply copy and paste the 8 bar segment until I have 7 in total and add a final note on C2 for the outro. I'll show how the verse sounds prior to editing. Get back, I tell you. Get back, I tell you. And after an increase of three semitones. Get back, I tell you. Get back, I tell you. Get back, I'll kill you. Get back. With that in mind, I'll edit the remaining clips accordingly. An increase of eight semitones for the first chorus. An increase of 6 semitones for the solo. An increase of 9 semitones for the second chorus. An increase of 4 semitones for the second verse. An increase of 10 semitones for the final chorus, bridge and outro. I want to add some variation, so in the three chorus sections, I'm going to add a stop, half a bar in, and a break on bar six. I'll add two stops in this final chorus since it will work well with the vocal.
Heading back to MDrummer's interface, I'll click on the additional button and deselect random loops, so I have full control over which loops MDrummer will play. Now, using the velocity control, I can choose which loops I want to use for this song. To conclude this demonstration, I will play the song through with the drum track. Twenty thirteen. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yeah. Worldwide. Get back. Get back. Get back, y'all. Get back. Get back. I wanna have to see you right back down to grammar school Yeah, you know I'm hotter than hell And I'm gonna vex you, wanna put you under my spell If you can't climb up, get up, and that's your problem Cause I rule this town now, who you wanna call is get back Get back, get back, y'all Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, y'all Get back! I'll kill you! Get back! 
Thanks for watching. Next in the M Drummer tutorial series, I will show you how the song tab can be used as an alternative method.